King Charles III, is waiting for the Duke and Duchess of Sussex to self-destruct, according to historian David Starkey. As GB News looks back on a turbulent year for the British royal family, historian David Starkey shared his take on Prince Harry and Meghan Markle. He claimed the King Charles III, playing a pretty clever long game while waiting for the pair to destruct themselves. David appeared in Saturday's edition of GB News, where he was interviewed by Esther McVeigh and Philip Davies. About the royal family they spoke about the death of Queen Elizabeth II and the controversial launch of Harry and Meghan's Netflix series. In the explosive series, Harry accused King Charles of saying untrue things when the late Queen gathered them at Sandringham in January 2020, in a last-ditch effort to resolve the Megxit crisis. The prince also claimed that Prince William's office shared negative stories about him, although he vowed never to do so. Opinion polls today. I mean, almost most people not only say they don't like them very much, they actually want the title taken from them. With each passing day, I think, with each desperate attempt to take a tiny grain of grievance and try to turn it into a huge, huge Himalayan grudge, they become less relevant actually playing a pretty intelligent long game. I guess it's waiting for them to self-destruct. So you don't really have to do anything very dramatic. He just lets events take their course, which I think is very wise. David's comments come ahead of the release of Prince Harry's all-encompassing memoir, Spare. The book will be released on January 10, less than two months after his hit Netflix series hit the streaming giant. Publisher Penguin Random House promises the historical contribution contains unwavering honesty as well as self-examination. The royal family has not commented on Harry's Netflix series or his upcoming memoir. King Charles did not mention his youngest son in his Christmas address to the nation. Instead, she mentioned her late mother and Prince Philip, as well as Prince William and the Princess of Wales. The monarch also offered his condolences to those who have lost loved ones, and highlighted the cost of living crisis. The coronation of King Charles is scheduled for May 6, but it has not yet been confirmed if Prince Harry will attend. <laughs>